We're here in Malawi, one of the poorest countries in the world, but also one of the happiest. Now, we're distributing Vitameal today. This is a maize and soy based product fortified with vitamins that was designed to help kids that are suffering with malnutrition. This Vitameal was also made in Malawi. Let's go see where it came from. Then I decided to build their capacity by borrowing them see the enterprise. We just landed in Malawi and the first thing we are doing is going straight to the Vitamil plant to see where Vitamil is made. Yeah, this is the warehouse where we store raw materials. That's corn and soybeans. We use it to clean corn only. Well, that one, we use it to clean soybeans only. Yeah. Which takes roasted grains into the cooling beans which are inside. This is the cage's bucket of flour, which is from cold and fed beans. It's dumped into the mix size. Then we take 1.1 kg of the mix. We have been donating and helping people donate Vitameal for years, and this is the first time that I've actually held it while it's still warm from the factory. And here in Malawi, we're going to go from where the Vitameal is made where it's actually being consumed by children in need. So, which means the vitamins which are in the vitamins do help a lot of my nutritional problems. With support from New Skin and distributors like us, Moses and Napoleon are able to make a huge difference in Malawi. Nourish the Children currently feeds over 100,000 meals every day to children in places like this and also in schools if the children come to school that day. And I want you to know that there are people all over the world that want to help you love them. And now we're headed to Safi, the School for Agriculture and Family Independence. This is a village that was built by New Skin to house families for one year. And while they're there, they learn improved farming techniques and they go back and they teach those skills to other people. So when students are here, we give them, we group them into four groups, one, two, three, four and then we give 10 chickens to each group. Before coming to the school, most families can only grow about five bags of corn per year. When they go home, the yield jumps to 70 bags of corn. So they have a tremendous surplus that they can use to improve other areas of their family life. These are the students, right now they're learning how to build an oven to bake bread. We're here at their nicest time of year. The rainy season just ended, so everything is green and the crops are in, but this is rare. Malawi has regular droughts, so this dam is critical to Safi and the surrounding area. Last year the dam washed out when they were trying to improve it, so there's more work to be done. So 
So I've met some moms here in Malawi and they all have babies. So I've joined the moms club. Where's your baby? My baby's not here. They're asking for our empty bottles of water. Okay guys, watch your fingers. Kids go crazy for water bottles. So just think of a car pulling up and giving you a soccer ball. That's what Mackenzie's about to do for these boys. Ready? Okay, everybody. And now we're in Oman. We were only in Malawi for a couple days. It was a quick trip. But it was a wonderful couple days. It was wonderful to see the people, the culture, and to see the infrastructure that's in place there. At this point, there is help, but it is not enough. There's still a lot that needs to be done. So if you want to help the people that you saw in this video, not us, but the people in Malawi, there are three ways. We thought, we thought of three ways that you can. One, you can donate vitamin meal. There's a link in the video description. You can follow and donate food to a child in need. One bag of vitamin meal feeds a child for a month. Two, you can message us and contribute financially to the construction of the dam. And the third and easiest way is to follow us on Instagram. For every new follower we get, we will donate one meal to a and child. And that is this week. So tell your friends, tell everybody about Five Take Flight, and let's feed some kids. Thanks.